And now we're going to get into a live demonstration of the HiVap Industrial paired with the new High Volume Distomatic Pro. So as mentioned earlier, the High Volume Distomatic Pro not only automates what's going on inside your evaporator, but automates the entire evaporation process as a whole. That involves filling your evaporation flask, draining all of your condensate or your solvent that is evaporated off and re-cooled from your condensing coils. And then, once all of that solvent is removed, removing your residual product or residue. So to get started here, you'll see these three carboys to my right. These are basically what's taking place as your amount of product that can be distilled or evaporated at a time. I've got five gallon carboys here, but you could have 55 gallon drums if you want to run this process overnight, for example. Our first in the middle is our initial product, or what we like to call the e-duct. That is what's going to be sucked into your evaporation flask. Your second carboy or drum will be for your condensate, which is your condensed solvent. And your third carboy is gonna be that residual product. So you're gonna to wanna to find containers that can basically contain the amount of products that will be pushed through them all. Your largest most likely being your initial product, second largest most likely being your solvent retrieval or your condensate, and your third being the residual product. So once you have your initial product inside of your vessel and you start the distomatic process, it's going to use a negative pressure, pressure system or vacuum on the internal of your unit to suck that into your evaporation flask. Your evaporation will occur, your condensate will drip down. There is a one liter vessel in here that will fill up. There's a sensor in there to detect the level of the solvent inside of that vessel. When it hits that sensor, what's gonna happen is it cuts itself off from the system so that evaporation can still occur. It will then remove the vacuum inside of there and use an overpressure system to push that solvent out and into your container. That's one of the first things that's different from the high volume Distomatic Pro to the original Distomatic. There are no more pumps. We use an under pressure, over pressure system to remove and insert all material. After that has been released, it'll stay closed off and then vacuum will pull inside of that vessel so that when it reopens, there will be no difference in vacuum throughout your system. It'll stay constant so your evaporation will not be interrupted. That process will continue as many times as it takes until you only have residue left in your evaporation flask, in which case the system will then turn off vacuum and overpressure the entire system in order to force that residue out. That overpressure system is what lets us remove that residue so quickly and at high viscosities, allowing you to remove things as viscous as cannabis oil. There are sensors all over the system to allow the automation mode to occur. That mode is sensor mode, which I'll get into in a second with a full run through. They are large ion sensors that can detect even low polarity solvents such as hexane. There is a sensor in the evaporation flask that detects the fill level and that has the dual purpose of not only be using to refill, but recognizing when product has been sitting up against that sensor for a long time and that there's no longer anything left to be evaporated from it. That big sensor can detect your solvents in the vessel, along with any overflow that might occur. So, so when we go to operate our Distomatic Pro, there are a multitude of modes that we can run it from. There is sensor mode, which basically runs itself with all the various sensors. Timer mode, where you can set how long each step of the process lasts, potentially for fine tuning uh, how long and how quickly some processes run in order to really get the most out of your evaporation process. Uh, it also can be used to control fill volumes to reduce foaming. 
rinse mode, which is the built-in cleaning mode for the Distomatic Pro. That cleaning mode runs a solvent-only cycle, uh, preferably with something that's good at cleaning, like ethanol, and basically clears out all of the lines, the condensate line, the solvent line, or sorry, the fill line, and the residue line. Since there are no pumps, this is a very simple process to do, and you will not have to do any manual cleaning anymore. Manual mode would be used if you are working with leftover product that is powder or solvents. That basically cuts out the residue removal process and lets you manually empty out that evaporation flask. So I'm gonna show you a quick run through of the sensor mode. I have that selected. And if we were to look at our parameters, we can adjust things such as how long or how many cycles are run, or we can have that be infinite. Uh, how long before the residue is removed, how long each fill lasts, things of those sort. These process um, parameters can be saved and transferred to other Distomatics by USB stick. All of your data is also logged and can be transferred via USB stick. So once we have the parameters that we would like, we can look here to see a heat tape option. If your residual product is particularly viscous, you might want to keep those lines heated in order to aid the flow transfer of that. We're going to start our process here and it will begin an initial run. Let me turn on our vacuum on our high vap industrial and our rotation. Basically, we're going to wait until there's vacuum inside the unit to start the process. That is because it's going to use that vacuum to pull product into the evaporator. Once we get to about the 500 millibar level, we can start. Now that our evaporation flask is filled with product and solvent mixture, we're going to let the process run for a little bit until all of our initial parameters have been reached and evaporation begins to occur. We now see that evaporation is occurring and that our solvent is condensing on our condensers. As that happens, our solvent collection vessel will begin to fill up. Once that fills up, we're going to see it disconnect from the system and push all of that solvent out before restarting. Then once this process has occurred multiple times, the leftover residual product in the evaporation flask is going to begin to rise and rise as more and more solvent is taken out, it's filled, the solvent's removed, until at one point that residual product sits at our initial fill sensor. It's going to run for a predetermined amount of time after that point to make sure there's no leftover solvent, but once it sits at that sensor for a long time, we know it's only residue in that evaporation flask, and it's time to trigger the overpressure system to force that viscous solvent out, which I'll show you right now. As your Distomatic process is running, you're going to be able to see on the panel everything that is going on within the unit itself. You'll see lines change, blue indicating vacuum, green indicating overpressure, and orange lines indicating where product is being pushed, where solvent is being removed, and where residue is being pumped out. So that was how the high volume Distomatic Pro automates the entirety of your evaporation process from start to finish, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so long as you still have product to push.